Welcome back, Blade fans. Here's a unusual one. Uh, you might call it a crazy one. A bit off the charts and built, however, by none other than Civivi of the Wee Knife Company. Um, kind of, uh, I would say, a um, not risky, but um, maybe divergent design for them to produce uh, and I have to commend them for being pretty courageous because this is way off the charts for Civivi. You might figure this would come from Kubi or some other knife companies that experiment a little bit more with design um, and of course Civivi is known more for its folders however they have produced some interesting fixed blade knives. Uh, this has got to be the most interesting. <laughs> this is the Orthrus, designed by Tony Sentmanet of Real World Tactical. He is a firearms instructor, tactical defense instructor for law enforcement, military, etc. He said he spent a couple years designing this blade watched a few videos including one where he was at the blade show in Atlanta and he was demoing on one of those ballistic gel uh, dummies and the knife was quite effective I must say it has the distinction of being sharpened on four edges count them one two three and four and it is a crazy looking design. As Tony says, it's not for collectors, although for that very reason, it might be for collectors. <laughs> um, I have experience in training law enforcement people with batons and empty hand, but not with firearms, but defense against knives, not use of knives. So that being the difference, um, there are knives out there that are specifically designed for law enforcement to help them protect the firearm, to act as a backup to the firearm. And this is sort of one of those. The most unusual design feature of this knife, besides the radical multiple edges and points, is that it can instantly become an angled knife Call it a karambit if you like, because it does have the ring. And on the ring are various striking and control surfaces as well. So it's a knife that you could say uh, tries to be all things and not necessarily for all people, but for law enforcement, okay? Let's straighten it back out again. Uh, much has been said about the pivot. And I understand a few people have tested this pivot and tried torture testing this and have not gotten that pivot to fail. It is, in fact, a fixed blade knife with a hinge, okay? And it fixes itself very solidly in one of two positions, either straight like a dagger or bent like a karambit. Now, how you hold it, is really the challenge, I would say. Because while the blade is very unusual, the point that gets missed here by uh, some of the people who have reviewed this is that the handle is also quite unusual. Um, there are some finger grooves here to provide you maybe some feel and some indexing. Um, you have two platforms here that are jimped and they're angled off from each other. So how do you hold it? This way, perhaps, in a straight, maybe a, a saber type grip. Um, you instinctively may want to put your thumb on the back there. That would be a big mistake because you would uh, put a permanent cleft in your thumb. There are some very aggressive serrations here and I mean they are just little prickly razor blades wouldn't take much you could say that's for cutting strapping material and seat belts and so forth but 
in the motion of getting that under a seat belt to cut somebody free, you're very likely going to injure the person and cut them with the point. So I wouldn't say it's for that. But if we hold it in this position with the edge in, let me back out, of course, with the edge in, in my Filipino martial arts training, this could definitely be used to control and very much an arrow-like point on this blade. Um, it almost holds better without dedicating yourself to the ring. Of course, um, if you put your finger through the ring in this position, it's going to angle it very closely to the arm, and you're not going to be able to jab with it very well. Uh, but you know, this knife is very dependent upon technique. And I would say that if Tony offers training in this as to his specific ideas as to how this is to be used, uh, that would make a lot of sense because it does not lend itself to anything traditional. If this was your fixed blade, this would need to be the only fixed blade that you ever trained with because if you're used to any other blade with an unsharpened spine or even a full double-edged blade, uh, you are not going to get used to how to hold this. And of course, you're going to have your preference whether you set it up this way. And uh, one of the advantages here, by the way, it goes in the sheath both ways. One of the advantages here is that it's not going to stick you in the ribs or the belly when you're carrying it on a belt. If you use this clip, there is an optional uh, ulti clip that they will give you with this knife or you can simply buy your own ulti clip. This is kind of a heavy duty rig here for going on a duty belt and it should accept a wider duty belt because we've got this is the the Terzola uh, tech lock so this is adjustable for belt width. Won't get too into the sheath but there you can see that it works in that position and by the way, you can thumb it off, not so easily from the, let me get it back behind the camera. Okay, there we go. I can see somebody cutting their finger on the way out. But uh, in the straight position, it seems to come out of the sheath just a little better and will thumb off. So when you thumb that off, you automatically end up on that ramp, which is a good thing. Because if you didn't, you'd be slicing your thumb in pushing that off. However, you may just grab it and pull it out if it's securely on the belt or on the belt with an ulti clip. Um, so you got these finger grooves here. You can hold it traditionally cross palm. Saber grip has kind of a dagger. Um, just talking about the straight position now. As I said, you can hold it this way. If you switch it to the bent karambit style, hold, you can hold it with the finger through the ring, and now it's angled off enough for that blade to be useful, which is a good thing. And you've got that big swoop in the blade here for controlling. You've got your outward cuts. You've got your downward and outward jabs. As Tony said, uh, every direction you send this blade off in is going to damage or cut. And no, this is not a Skinner, this is not an EDC knife, this is 100% a tactical defensive style knife meant to complement the handgun. And you could hold it through the ring without losing the knife if your other hand is occupied with your firearm. Um, not going to get into all the possible ways that I think you can use it. Obviously, Tony has some very specific ideas as to how it should be used. I'm just a little uncomfortable with it because it's a smallish handle. Even if I get backed out onto the ring here, uh, I just don't feel comfortable being so close to some of the edges, again, depending upon how I hold it. You can see that edge is right there, even though I've got to stop with that ramp there. If I fold it around this way and hold it, it's actually not bad, even though the finger grooves are pointed the other way, but it's still a rather straight, stick-like handle. Um, you've obviously got 
a point there, a point there, and a point there with the serrations. And one thing I noticed is that he was jabbing it into a ballistic gel dummy and into the ribs and doing some pretty good damage and actually cutting through the ribs. But he's also a powerful guy. But look how thin this point is. I did not see how the knife came out and what the condition of the point was. This um, is, um, the steel is, and it's not printed on the blade, so let me get that for you. Yep, here's the steel, and this is the box. So it's Nitro V. And um, from what I understand about Nitro V, it's sort of an improvement on uh, 9 CR18 MOV. And I think this is the box that comes in with a little sketch of the knife on the outside. It is made in China, as are just about all of Civivi's knives. You may like that or not. Designed by Tony Sent Manet. And again, he's from Real World Tactical. Now, some quick measurements. It's a smallish knife. It's meant to be compact. It's meant to be easy to have with you. The overall length right to the end of the, uh, the ring is 8 inches. The blade length to the handle is 3 and 3 quarters. The handle thickness in inches is 0.56. Blade stock in millimeters is pretty thin, under 3 millimeters, 2.9. And imperial scale, it is 0.11 inches. Um, let's get a weight on it. knife only is 4.87 ounces under 5 ounces so not that heavy but it's going to feel solid in the hand because what you've got up here is the steel from the ring comprising kind of the core then you have two subframes here that the G10 scales right on. You've got some pretty pretty nicely textured but not too sharp on the fingers. Um, it's either milled or molded. I would call it milled G10. It's definitely um, yeah it's definitely G10 because it's got you can see a pattern and some fiber in there. It is secured with one screw on that side, two screws here. I would think that the handle slabs do remove and underneath is going to be your plunge lock button system. Doesn't throw as far as a folder push button lock does. Some comparisons and uh, part of the comparisons is going to be the comfort that I have with the knife. Now, these knives aren't going to be literally as multifaceted as the Orthrus, but here is the Bastinelli Chopper. This is an extremely comfortable knife with ample handle, but not too much. Still a smaller knife, uh, which is overall Last one, that was eight inches. This is eight and a quarter. And you've got a blade of um, just about the same as the Orthrus. It's uh, closer to three and a half, 3.6. But I know where the edge is on this. <laughs> I can lay my thumb on the back for power cuts. I know where the point is, okay? It does curve up, yes. But the way this handle is constructed, you can thrust forward. Um, interesting thing about the Orthrus is that I was beginning to get to this is that it's got that angle which can be used for uh, if you hold it in your hand this way you have kind of a punching grip. Okay.
okay not so much that way as this way kind of like the some of those k-bar knives uh, that are angled off like that uh, where if you haven't handled a knife before and you just know how to poke and punch you can do some damage with that personally and again this is personally I feel more comfortable with this in my hand I know where everything is I'm not going to cut myself I can change position if need be and go point down it's just for me a more an easier manipulated knife and again that's my preference um, here is a another knife by Topps this is the Lioness and by the way Topps made another version of this they call the unzipper where they sharpened that edge and dulled that edge so you can hold it as a pical knife interesting but this is also a very comfortable knife with a built-in guard you're not going to slide forward also see for some reason I'm more comfortable wanting to put my thumb on the back of that blade for power I'm more locked in with this than I am with something like this it just feels oddly compromised again you're going to get comfortable with what you know how to use with what you use every day that's where I say that knife is going to take a lot of dedicated training uh, here is a very fine custom knife by TKEL this is the Guardian and this has three sharpened edges thus far <laughs> this was the king until the Orthrus came along with its four sharpened edges this is either a Warncliffe or a Tonto however you want to look at it a heavier knife with thicker stock as you can see but still quite sharp Now, usually around here I do cutting tests but here we'll do some piercing tests that is a very piercy knife and this is two layers of paper by the way this <laughs> is more piercy because it's a thinner blade it's a finer point as you can see this gives us a better idea of the point on the uh, Orthrus and the point on the Guardian both fine points but this point tapers down much more quickly from thick stock this is of a lighter stock again I wish I could have seen what the point looked like after Tony was done jabbing that into the uh, the dummy and maybe he will this one is a custom shop knife from Dirk Pinkerton this is his Smilodon or Smilodon and this is a multi-purpose knife also with a sh much shorter handle just enough for the hand can be used in a point up puck uh, sock sock type grip can be used in point down he kind of advertises it as a point down knife and again also very aggressive point I'm a little more comfortable with this handle even with it being shorter than with the handle here on the Orthrus so um, you know that's my take on it I'm not panning it I'm not dissing it by any means you can tell it is a specialty knife and it's the only knife I know that can change positions from an angled blade to a straight blade so I would say you would need a minimum of a month to get used to this knife if you were going to use it every day could a civilian use it as a tactical backup defensive knife absolutely but your options are use the ring don't use the ring point up point down ring on the angle or without the ring are you planning on using the ring for striking you're going to need to practice that as well now the knife comes in I think at around 115 120 dollars again nitro V and I think perhaps 
if you're into tactical knives, if you have some background, if you're law enforcement and you've had some training in knives, this is one you should take a look at. But again, I would see what sorts of training materials are available through the designer, Tony St. Matt, uh, and his organization. Um, forgot what it is now. Worldwide Tactical, Tactical Unlimited. I said it earlier. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, thought you'd like to just get my take on this and get a closer look at the knife. One more time around. There you go. Really, um, sky's the limit. Let your imagination run wild and then use it and train with it. And I'd like to see a trainer for this knife. Perhaps one is already in the works. That would be a very nice compliment. This one is a uh, unsharpened trainer. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I will be back with you soon. Take care.